be my Twilight Los Angeles essay by Robert Gutierrez. The fight for change. Are we back in the 90s? Has there been any change in the past three decades? What is going on this day and age directly reflecting what was happening in the 90s? In Twilight Los Angeles, 1992 by Anna DeVere Smith, her stories directly exemplify the racism that was going on. Blacks and other minorities were always put portrayed in a negative light by the dominant race, whites. Police brutality is still an ongoing issue. How and why would this change? The system allowed police officers to hold a higher authority and power. They are not held to the same standard as civilians and experience no consequences to their actions. Time, time and time again, their actions are somehow justified. Protesting is regarded negatively, especially by those that see no wrong. The protesting and rioting that took place in the 90s was part of the change. It paved the way to take the steps in the right direction. When we are unified, we can really make a change. In writing to change the world, Mary Pfeiffer addresses the need to bring people together towards a change. It's time to come together as a community, fight back against the racism, the police brutality, and protest with our fellow brothers and sisters until change happens. We must protect the next generation from these vicious cycles of racism, police brutality that have been ongoing for decades. Why are police officers murdering people? Police are rarely prosecuted and convicted for their use of deadly force on unarmed civilians. One night a cop put a gun at his head. It drove me crazy. It's still going on. It's still going on. How you think a father feels? Stuff that happened to him 50 years ago happened to my son. Police brutality has been going on for decades, and there has been no let up. Did the 1992 riots mean anything? Did Rodney King mean anything? We the people of the world are tired of it. We look at our phones and discuss. Shocked watching George Floyd beg for his life while being murdered by a police officer. Enough is enough. A chain needs to be made. Police are supposed to be protecting and serving, but who is protecting us from them? Just like in the 90s, police brutality is everywhere and nothing is being done. These officers need to be held accountable. Officers do not have the right to decide if someone lives or dies. Change needs to be made because the black community has suffered injustice year after year. From the Rodney King beating in 1992 to the murder of Trayvon Martin in 2012, police officers are continuously acquitted for their lethal conduct. Recently, an African-American man named Eric Gardner was choked to death and no change in police procedures or arrests of officers has occurred. Police coroners blame their deaths on pre-existing health conditions. I don't believe this because just last week it was done again with no remorse. If the people of Mississippi community wouldn't have come together to spread awareness of the situation, protest and riot on for the injustice, nothing would have happened to the officers involved. In my six years of being a military police officer, this is wrong and should immediately be investigated. If an officer committed a mistake, we would be held accountable and may even result in jail time. These officers, the, these officers are professionals. They're supposed to be outstanding citizens. On March 13, 2020, police officer murdered Breonna Taylor, a black woman in her own home. No arrests have been made on any of the officers. There has been hardly any media coverage, and the pol police try to rule it accidental. Where are the body cameras? Why are they being shut off? The purpose of these cameras is to aid in investigation, to stop police brutality, and to make sure procedures are being conducted. Racism has not gone anywhere. The issue was never settled or stopped. Parents carried on the hate they experienced to the next generation and imparted, it, imparted this racism into their kids. Like I said, you kidnapped us, you raped our women, you pull us over daily, have us get out of our cars, sit down on the curb, you go through our cars, you say, all right, take all our papers out, go through our trunk, all right, and drive off. Don't even give us a ticket. You know we innocent. You know, where's our justice? Where's our self-respect? But hey, you want us to feel something towards the white man this white boy. White privilege is an unspoken benefit that grants one group pref preferential treatment, but everybody deserves the same opportunity and respect. 
minorities should not fear for their lives when being pulled over by a police officer. The media paints the picture they want to portray. They are also, they are also part of the racist system that we are living in today. The media is able to blame on one group. Meanwhile, the wrongdoers, the police, receive no blame. The reason change is beginning to occur is due to the uprising of the people. Across, across the United States, people have come together, protested peacefully. Police fear their unification. The president fears the voices of who are aware on the injustice experienced by minorities at hand of police officers. Martin Luther King Jr. would be proud. George Floyd would be proud. Rodney King would be proud. Latasha Harlins would be proud. Eric Garner would be proud. Their lives mattered. What we experienced in the past week is a movement to inform, spread light on injustice, and to stop the discrimination. Black people have suffered for hundreds of years, decade after decade, and still no change. The time is now. Change has to be done. My fellow brothers and sisters deserve better. I stand with Black Lives Matter and support their cause. I believe everyone should be treated equally. The fact of the matter is, whether we like it or not, riot is the voice of the unheard. People have the right to be upset. Protesting is a form of shedding light on a tough situation to spread awareness and encourage a change in the system that perpetuates and enforces racism. When Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated, change was inspired by rioting. George Floyd's daughter is proud. She said, my daddy changed the world, and he really did. The world has never been so united. People of all races and all colors have come together. Peaceful protesting and rioting have brought immediate attention to the injustice of racism. Time after time, minorities are murdered at the hands of police. These protests demand accountability from the police department. Today's protests are just a continuous from the 90s. I do not believe racism truly has gone anywhere or improved. What is happening now greatly echoes what happened in the 90s. People are coming together as communities to spread light, to share knowledge, to share pain, and to stand for injustice. There is no room in today's world for racism and discrimination. Police brutality is an ongoing issue that needs to be addressed. Protesters are creating real change. We need to protect the youth because the next generation deserves better. Racism and police brutality should not be tolerated. Only by coming together as a community through peaceful protests can we create legislative change in a broken system.